Okay, Brother Monroe here with yet another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Taskmaster Challenge. This week we had to build, and I'm just going to jump straight into this, <laughs> uh, we had to build coastal defence battleships. Now I've gone on all the lines of a heavy cruiser. I will show off the build at the end of the video in a little bit more detail. Um, but uh, basically these are actually heavy cruisers. Uh, we were allowed to unlock all the hulls and choose our nation, so I chose Russia, not that it matters, and I've gone with this hull, I don't even know whose it is. Um, and we are trying to defend Norway, effectively, against a German invasion force consisting of a battle cruiser, which is what I'm looking for right now. I think that might be it. Uh, a heavy cruiser, which I think is this ship. Mm, probably. That might be the battle cruiser, actually. Uh, three light cruisers and two destroyers. And very much like last week, uh, we get points for killing ships. Um, we lose points for... Um, we lose points for losing our own ships. And we just have to try and kill as many enemies as possible. Um, there were limitations on the builds of these. So they had to have 10 or 11 inch guns. Um, we're limited to a maximum number of nine torpedoes per side. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, there weren't really too many restrictions on us. Uh, I've kind of tried to build them like a, like a coastal defense ship, so they have very short range. They have very thick, or, well, not very thick, but thick-ish um, armor, 22-inch belt. They're designed for close range kind of engagements slowly. Actually, I want you to come right the way around because um, you find your torps. Um, close range kind of knife fighting in fjords and things like that. Actually, come like this because they have fired a metric boatload of torps at us. Um, and uh, yeah, that's more designed for close in fighting than anything else. Um, I do have anti tour 5, <laughs> which I'm looks like I'm going to need. And anyway, we started only 12,000 meters away as well. Ooh. And I've gone for, yeah, relatively tanky build, but uh, there's limitations with the heavy cruiser. You can't really. Uh... I've gone for like a battleship esque type armor scheme, basically. On a, on a heavy cruiser hull, um, or as much as possible. Um, and they are kind of built like um, like a battleship, you know, the quad double turrets, secondary armaments, which I'm not expecting to do very much, but they are on there. Um, it's just uh, that is a lot of torpedoes. Holy cr criminy. Rockets. <laughs> uh, right, let's let's turn in. I mean, yikes! Seriously, look at look at that. That is insane, Germany. Not cool. The number of torps you just plopped in the water there. Not cool. Definitely going to have. Ooh, might be able to avoid that one. Yep, not that one though. Okay, a little bit. Right, next, the triumph or tri triumph. Uh, you're you're going to have a much harder time of it, I'm afraid. You know, sending our own torps away, I suppose. I'm not ho overly hoping that we're going to hit anything with those. Though uh, I probably should be paying attention to what I'm firing at. Uh, yep, missed one. Uh, we're going to eat a bunch more, though. Ow. Ow. Swear to God, the AI is so good at avoiding torps and so good at sending out swarms of them back at me. I, I actually genuinely think I'm pathetic with torps. <laughs> 
any any of these tasks my challenge that involve torpedoes, I'm terrible at them. Right. Maybe do some oh, okay then. I'll just trust the crews that they know what they're doing. They're probably doing a better job than I would. Uh, looks like I'm gonna eat one here. Nah. Oh, just missed it. Okay. Uh, don't think I can avoid that one. Not able to. And I know I'm mostly focusing on uh, anti, you know, avoiding torpedo micro, but kind of have to. Um, I know they're not doing a, a lot of damage, but they are doing damage to my ships. Uh, and uh, like I said, I do lose points if my ships take hits, so I'd rather avoid it if I can. Looks like there's another set there. Try and avoid those. Right. What can you actually hit? That. Go for the heavy cruiser. What can you actually hit? 5.6, 1.8, 20. Go for the heavy cruiser. 10, 6.5. At least I assume that's the heavy cruiser. Okay, just let you do your thing then. Oh, crap on a stick. Ow. Seriously? Just an insane amount of torps. Insane. Right, we've got that. Yeah, look at this thing. Look. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I just stick... Uh, how many you look at to do? Nine aside? Now let's put on fifteen aside. Yeah, that's fair. Ugh. Damn you game. I think just uh, focus on the rune over there. See if we can't oh really just endless. Like look at these destroyers as well. They're pumping out a boatload of them. Oh no, they're destroyers aren't actually. Is it the cruisers? Yeah, the cruisers, both all kinds. Um, but yeah, both the heavy and the light cruisers just spamming torps at me. In the meantime, we've done absolutely nothing. Don't have our own torps reloaded, of course we don't. I might be able to do this actually, be a bit cheeky. chance you could hit the con 14% now that I know the light cruisers are packing uh, you can still fire torps at that if you get a chance we are getting hits but just not doing very much damage damage on the room it's just it's just really not a lot I didn't go with super heavy shells or anything like that um, oh, I've got a flooding hit there though she does have few bulkheads as well so that, that might be the the way that we deal with this um, yeah I want you to come this way just a little bit no chances on the heavy cruiser. 65. Okay, keep on it. Keep on it. Damage to torpedo. Come on, more flooding hits. And I have gone for high TNT explosives as well. Ooh, crap. Void if you can. Run 
kind of damaged on that light cruiser. That's good. <laughs> Come on. Get some proper hits on her. And I do have uh, sonar and things on these ships as well. Um, yeah, Clark Angel Michael's just taken out. Absolute hammering. Well, that's more like it. What do these guys have? Maximum bulkheads. Okay, so we're not going to kill them with flooding. It's not easily. Yeah, battle cruiser is worrying. She got 13 inch guns. Yikes. Those cruisers have masses of torques on board. Okay, they need they need to go. So does the rune here. There's even more. Uh, 92 torques on board. Those slight like, cruisers aren't very fast. That's interesting. Or maybe it's just because I've been hitting that one a bit. Plus the heavy cruiser, reasonable, and the battle cruiser is speedy. And more damage on her. We can get a rear uh, hit on us four. Forward on the ship, we might be able to get a sink, or if um, the torpedoes would reload at some point, that would be nice. <sighs> yeah, nobody has torps loaded. Well, that was a good hit. Quite a lot of flooding. Uh, what's your chance to hit? Yeah, switch fire to that light cruiser. Yeah, no. Just spot that. Too late. Actually, let me uh, cheeky. And, well, there goes the ring. Okay, that's good. All your firepower on the Dresden, then, please. Oh, where are those torps going? Might be going for the Dresden, actually. Um, oh, we got one of their light cruisers. Uh, the Colm has gone down. Right, you two, kill the Dresden. I just want the Dresden. No, don't do that. Just want the Dresden dead, but your torps put on the battle cruiser if you can. So, killed one heavy cruiser and one light so far. Ooh, that was a good hit. Flooding, fire. Rudder damaged. Yeah, those torps are fired out going to absolutely nothing. More hits, please. Nothing. Come about and get on the opposite tack. Right, gonna have torps ready from Archangel Michael soon, and the Ivan Gorod is ready. Okay, Ivan Gorod, turn to port. More fire going in on the Dresden. That's good. Hello. It's a torpedo launch. Oh crap. There's a whole bunch of stuff coming in. Uh, midships. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna like that, please. 
At least with my ships spread out like this, there's less of a chance of uh, them smacking me with a whole bunch of torps at the same time. Come on, reload those quintuples. Yeah, four inch are doing surprisingly well actually, just peppering a whoa, cheeky Dresden. And again, I don't mind them all firing at the Triumph. <laughs> That's fine by me. Okay, looks like we can go this way again. Uh, yeah, those have missed, as I thought they might. Ah, we fired at the uh, De Flinger here. But only with the uh, quintuple launcher, we still have the quad on the back. Because I reckon they're moving to avoid. Yeah, they are. And the quad launch. Well, there goes the Dresden. That is fantastic news. Okay, where's their last light cruiser? Kohlberg. Uh, Torp still on the Deflinger. I want. Oh, who are you targeting? I want everything from you on him. Everything from you on him as well. Uh, and we're going to go like this. Battlecruiser doesn't have any torpedoes, so we can close in. Those torps have made a move towards us, which is actually good news. Because I'm hoping we can do a close range torp hit. Because all the torps on the port side of the Archangel Michael here should be reloaded. What kind of armor has she got? Yeah, 8.4 inches of belt, whereas we're also rocking 22. So close range engagements around the fighter. There goes the quintuple launcher. Oh, those are my own torps, aren't they? Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Where are they? Where were they aimed? You traitor! <laughs> right, there goes the battle cruiser. Right, okay. <laughs> Just run, because your own ship now. This bugs me because this is going to sink her. Um, because the um, yeah, there you go. The AI will actively refuse to fire torpedoes so often because it's like, oh no, one of your own, and I point out this guy was on normal because, oh no, one of your own ships is in the way. But the moment I don't want it to do, like, and you're like, no, just fire, you're not going to hit my own ships. And the one time, god damn it, the one freaking time. Ah. Right, Ivan Gorod, your captain will be court martialed after the video. Oh, it looks like we've taken out the destroyer, the V2. Just uh, hoping we can finish off the Kohlberg before she's able to get another sound off. I mean, overall, I'm, I'm reasonably happy to swap that because uh, that is a lot of points for me, but it is uh, incredibly irritating. All right, try out. Need you to turn.
turn more. Maybe the captain, the Ivan Gorod, was working for the Germans. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Don't think they've got another salvo coming out. Of course, my top's all miss. Oh, no, they do. As usual, I have no idea how any of the other guys did, um, but I'm sure one of them is going to get a maximum score, so I don't think I'm going to win. Um, but uh, I, uh, <laughs> I put it down to this treacherous bastard on board the Ifan Godlord. If I don't win. Right, there goes the Kolberg, so it's just the destroy to go. So apart from that, oh no, I should have pressed yes, shouldn't I? <laughs> Oops. So apart from that minor inconvenience, um, yeah, that I believe is 65 points. So I got full 75 points for the sinking of the enemy ships, and I lost 10 points for losing one of mine due to friendly fire. <laughs> well, that's just what happens, isn't it? Anyway, um, go check out the other uh, guys' videos. Uh, there will be a link down in the description below. Um, as well, there are, I think we, we've been setting up playlists um, for all the Taskmaster videos that allow you to um, see all our videos in one place. And I think oh, I've certainly set that up on my channel, I know Stealth has on his, and I think um, the other guys have as well. Um, so do check out the other videos. Um, if you have a Ultimate Admiral scenario that you want me to do, then um, don't post it in the comments um, and your, your best bit is to catch me live on Twitch I do Ultimate Admiral on a Wednesday um, uh, or if you are a Patreon of mine you can submit your scenarios directly through Patreon um, but uh, don't worry about putting them in the comments um, because I have a terrible memory and I will forget <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed the video thanks very much and hope to see you again soon bye bye